Welcome back, everybody. It is now 9.30. We here at KSAT like to have something for everyone in the family, not only on air, but also online. We know you expect more, and there's a new facet of KSAT.com that you need to know about. Ben Spicer is with our web team. We see him every morning behind the scenes here on GMSA. He's the early riser with he, us on he the website. He is. So it's called KSAT Kids, Ben. Tell us about how you came up with the idea, because we're hearing your wife had something to do with it. Well, this. that's right. Um, about a year ago, we live streamed on KSAT.com uh, Koala Cam, which was oh, yeah. from the San Antonio Zoo, which was actually a huge hit. And I had mentioned it to my wife, who's a third grade teacher. And she ended up using it in the classroom, Aww. and so the kids just absolutely loved it. And so she was putting it up there every day, and the kids were always checking to see what the koala was doing. And what the, Which you know, mostly was sleeping. Mostly. <laughs> but the kids loved it. And so it just kind of spawned the idea that KSATS.com already has a ton of content that educators and parents and students might be interested in. So you came up with the idea, let's do a KSAT Kids. Now, what kind of things can people find on it other than koala camp? Other than uh, we have like the idea is to do live streams, mm -hmm. uh, more animal live streams, things like that. Uh, just a couple of days ago, we live streamed the uh, the astronauts doing a spacewalk oh, uh, nice. from NASA, so we thought that was something we could we could live stream. Uh, but we also were, we have the meteorologists; they're constantly producing tons of good content when it comes to different videos like type lessons. Mm -hmm. And so the, what this case that kids enables us to do is kind of create a place where it can all be localized. And so then all teachers, educators, students, parents can all find it in one place. There you go. So that's that's the, the other upside, even though it's in case at kids, you're going to be able to pull in all these other folks here that can utilize this content. That's right. Like uh, educators like my wife, you know, they, the last thing they want to be doing is digging through KSAT.com to try to find something of, you know, of, they that they can use. And so this is a place where they'll be able to go and we're even going to create a, a newsletter that they could subscribe to that would allow them to know what kind of educational content we're going to have on our website. That's awesome. So the kids can go just for their own. Just That's right. And they know that they're going to find all this educational stuff. But then, as you said, parents and educators. So are you looking to expand your content? And do you want input from our viewers? That's exactly what we're hoping to get. We're hoping that uh, we've their educators will sign up, or they'll, they'll email us, and they'll be able to say, hey, look, we've already had a couple teachers that have already done that. We've already created a Facebook and a Twitter feed. And some of them have already reached out. And they've already said, hey, we would love to have this content for certain lessons on these topics. And so now we can go back to the meteorologist and say, hey, can you do a topic on this or do something on this? And then we can put it on the website. Here's an idea. Just throwing it out there right now. Uh, she's got <laughs> one. A light bulb moment. What, what about an SAQ just for the kids section? So people can throw questions to the That's web. And brilliant. Then, yeah, and then we can answer them. We'll, people answer them, and they'll have Well, the idea is, it, it is just, this, it actually, case that kids can go so many different directions that we've, you know, we've already been spitballing things like even Facebook Lives, mm -hmm. doing maybe behind the scenes looks of the, of the station, or maybe the newscast so kids can see that when they're in the classroom. Uh, it just can, we were talking about potentially live streaming graduation. I mean, there's so many things that we can do that could, goes on into the community, and it's all different things that, you know, parents and teachers and even students would find interesting in. And what I love about it is this is stuff that our KSAT was already doing out there, and it's free content for the kids and the educators. Yeah, uh, one, one thing is, is even with YouTube, it may be free, but parents and teachers don't really know, what you know, they're what they're getting. And so a lot of times my wife is like, well, you can't send them to YouTube because they, they can be advertising certain things, and it's not going to be what it's supposed to be. Then where do they find it? Uh, on our website? On our website, okay. ksatkids.com. Uh, just type in ksatkids and it'll take you straight there. Gotcha. What a great idea, and especially because, like you said, it's all content that we would have probably had anyway. We already have You'd it. have to yeah. search for it. This way you go to one location, and there it all is. You know, it's kid-friendly and educational. Then I don't know if we thank you or your wife or both of you. <laughs> Which, mostly her. Okay. <laughs> for our viewers, That's a, a smart play. For our viewers, a little um, tidbit of information. We actually helped him propose to his wife. We, we did. That's true. And she said yes. And she said yes. <laughs> ben Spicer from our web team. Thank you, Ben. Thank Great you, idea.